curator of Founders Vision Exhibition. Good morning. Thanks for being here with us. Good morning, Dylan. Hi, Jackie. Good, <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you this morning. Can you first start off and tell us who Barbara Babcock Millhouse is and why this exhibition is called Founders Vision? We're really excited to open an exhibition of Barbara Babcock Millhouse's private collection of art. She was the founding president of Rinalda House Museum of American Art back in the mid-1960s. But she's been collecting for the museum, for the people of North Carolina. But she has a parallel collection for her own enjoyment. And we're sharing that for the very first time. And it's art from the entire span of the 20th century, looking at the modernism that Americans expanded into and really when American art took center stage in the world, when, when the center of the art world really shifted from Europe to, to New York City. It's all under the same roof for the first time, which is really yeah. incredible. Can you tell us how Barbara started collecting this American art, both for her personal collection and then for this permanent collection at Rinalda House? Barbara, like her grandmother, Catherine Reynolds, who created Rinalda, and like her mother, Mary Babcock, who is really responsible for bringing Wake Forest uh, to Winston-Salem, uh, giving them much of this land to Wake Forest. All three of those generations really wanted to be artists when they were young. Uh, Barbara realized at some point that she might not be the best artist in the world, so she switched to studying art and learning uh, the, the mysteries of what makes uh, art so powerful and why she loved it so much. And she started off, as many collectors do, trying to acquire European old master paintings, but realized that um, that was a risky venture. You didn't, never knew what was gonna be authentic, what might be a forgery. <laughs> so uh, she switched then to American art where she felt like she was on, on more solid ground uh, because our, our history is so much shorter. Um, she just fell in love with the art that she was seeing in New York in the galleries. So most of this work was collected in the 60s, 70s and 80s. We have some of her dresses behind me that she wore to gallery openings to give a sense of her in the city in those decades. Um, it tells really the whole story of, of the, the branching out and the diversity of American art in the 20th century. So we have more sculpture than we've ever had on view before and more than 40 artists represented, including a lot of familiar names. Um, Georgia O'Keeffe and Edward Hopper and Romeo Bearden uh, behind me, a, a large Alex Katz painting. Um, so more than 40 artists, 55 works. Wow, that's a lot for sure. It's so interesting to hear like Barbara's thought process and the different right. kinds of art pieces, European, American and New York and stuff. That's so interesting. Thanks, Phil. So could you just I know you mentioned a couple of those artists that were listed. I, there's a lot. Could you go into a little bit a little bit more detail about them? Maybe some of your favorites uh, and some of the big take home artists that that will be featured there in the exhibition? Um, some really marvelous collages by Romeo Bearden, uh, who was a North Carolina native. Uh, there's a collage of his memories of growing up in Mecklenburg County and the train coming through, uh, through uh, that he could hear in the, in the night. Um, the Alex Katz that's behind me is, is a really a major, major Katz from his, his greatest period. And that's been Barbara's uh, goal for Rinalda and for her own collection is get, getting a work that's really representative, really just a, a standout cover of the catalog kind of kind of work um, for from each of these artists. Awesome. Well, Phil, as the curator here, was there anything that you learned as you were putting this together that you didn't know before or one of your favorite pieces you hope people take away from this exhibition? Um, I didn't realize there's a Hans Hoffman abstract painting and um, it's a he, he was dripping on canvases before um, Jackson Pollock, and he was doing uh, a lot of the kind of the things that we we recognize from abstract expressionism before a lot of those other artists. And um, that's a fantastic painting. And some of his students uh, from the 1950s are also represented. Um, a lot of women artists uh, in in the show, and that that's interesting for thinking of Barbara as a as a young woman collecting in this period. She really founded Ronalda House when she was only 30 years old. So she she found what she loved. It's been said that the two most important days of our lives are the day we're born and the day we realize why we were born. Hmm. Uh, and she found a, a real calling in, in art and in sharing art. So it's, it's thrilling for us to be able to share the work that she has loved enough to want to, to live with it in her own collection. I really 
love that sentiment. Phil, thank yeah. you so much for sharing a bit of her history. It's really cool to see it come to life and also get to see really beautiful artwork. Founders oh, Vision Exhibition again opens this Saturday to the public, August 24th, and then it will be on display at Rinalda House Museum through December 15th. So quite a while to see this. You can learn more by visiting rinalda.org. Yeah, plenty of time. Fascinating to hear about all that. Mm -hmm. Seems like a big just wide variety of display, something cool to go see. Maybe walk around. You could walk around the gardens. I was going to say, Rinalda, there. that whole area is one of my favorite spots to take people whenever they're visiting yeah, Winston-Salem. There you, go. you can get the Winston idea. history and then also grab a nice bite to eat or go around, yeah. walk around the garden. Ooh, so you got the village there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure.